All right, so here is the bald eagle nestling today. So I apologize for the last couple days that I haven't had any footage. So the reason why I haven't had any footage is because, well, yesterday there was a tornado warning in Bucks County. So I knew there was going to be some thunderstorms. Luckily, we didn't get any, but it wasn't really worth taking my chances. Especially since this was only like a half, a, the tornado warning was like for like a half an hour later when I heard the announcement. Anyways, and then the other day, I didn't see any bald eagles at all, and the nestling was probably hiding in his nest. So yeah, so this is pretty much, uh, you know, all you're going to get. I didn't see the parents on the Bear Branch today, so I'm not going to record for very long. And it's almost sunset, too. So that's another, another thing. Just need to get this straightened out here. So you can't really see this eagle very well. You can't really see the eagle very well, and that's only because it's almost sunset. In fact, I actually know what time it is right now. It's 8.23. Last week was actually the summer solstice, so now that that's, that date has passed, now it's going to start getting darker earlier. So yeah, so enjoy the footage while you can. Let me zoom out here. That way I can adjust this camera here. Ah. There we go, okay. And of course, this thing isn't very stable. Doesn't seem like this tripod's very stable. Yeah, I apologize for this. Ugh. There we go. It's a little, I guess it's a little bit more stable now. So yeah, so the zoom's not too bad, okay. I just still need to go down just a little bit more. Just without trying to mess this up. Okay, let's see if I can Okay, so I'm almost there. All right. There we go. All right. So there's a close up of the bald eagle nestling. Yeah. So I'll keep this on for about 11 minutes and 44 seconds. Or, and you know, or I might end it earlier if the focus starts coming out. Only because when it starts getting darker, the focus starts getting all weird. Yeah, so I always love recording these bald eagles whenever I can. I, I just have some sort of a connection with them. And I, even though I'm like very far away from them, I'm sure they probably don't see me. In my mind, I still feel that, you know, being even this close to them really makes me feel connected to them in some sort of a way. I know that's kind of hard to understand, but you'll understand it soon enough. So let's just observe this bald eagle. Oh, here comes a bald eagle. Unfortunately, some other bird is chasing it. I'm just looking up at the the mom here. Yeah, I see I saw the mom fly over. Either that or it's the or it's the father. I don't know which one. But let me go see.
Okay, either the mother or the father is on the bear branch right now. So let me get this packed up. I'm just gonna start walking over there. And this bird is bothering it. Yeah, this is Red Wings Blackbird is bothering Bald Eagle. Go figure. Yeah, he's very bothered by this. Yeah, it is the father, okay. So yeah, because the, the father doesn't have any bands on his legs, see? No bands. So he's not quite as like temperamental as the mother is, but he does seem to be like bothered by the red-winged blackbird. And it doesn't even seem like the red-winged blackbird's getting that close to him. Like, if I zoom out, you can see. Okay, I think the red-winged blackbird is gone. No, wait. It's still there. Zoom out even further here. So yeah, the red winged blackbirds, you know, not seem to be getting too close to the bald eagle. I usually see the red winged blackbird at the top of those bare branches. But strangely enough, I haven't seen the red winged blackbird until now. I mean, surely this this red-winged blackbird pair that's that's attacking this bald eagle must have a nest nearby. There must be a nesting conflict for sure. All right, so I think for the rest of the time I'll zoom in on this bald eagle right here. There we go. All right, so the bald eagle calmed down now. That's good. And he's looking at me. He is looking right at me. Sort of. Oh man, red winged blackbird again. It's like he actually like almost hit the bald eagle's head. And there you go, see that? Sometimes the bald eagles choose not to roost on this bear branch for obvious reasons, and the obvious reason is that these bald e- uh, 
Oh man. So he flew down. He flew down towards the, the trees there. Yeah, you can't really see this bald eagle. Only because it's starting to get dark out. So that's about all you're going to be able to see. Oh. He's balancing on the branch. So yeah. So there it is right there. Yeah, I don't want to zoom in too far because then um, the focus is going to be really bad. So I'll just have to settle with this. Now I actually had some error message, some like lens error, so that's why I'm starting a new recording. That's why you didn't catch me running. I guess it was tilting the lens so much that it messed up the the recording. Okay. So now I'm gonna see if the bald eagle came back on the bear branch. Yeah, he must have really been bothered by that red winged blackbird. Either that or he just wanted to pick a better roosting spot. I mean the bald eagle wasn't as aggressive as the the mother. Only because the mother is usually the one that protects the nest, not the father. The father is usually the one that's that's hunting most of the time. But I guess the the male heard the mother calling, so he went over to her. That's probably what happened. All right, I'll be right back. So we can still see the bald eagle, the nestling that is. He's just standing there, not really doing anything. He's turning his head a little bit. Well, at least the bald eagle parents don't really care that I was running. But yeah, this is always hard work because you know, sometimes the parents come back to the bear branch and I have to switch from one area to another. I can't just like tilt my camera towards the bear branch. It's not that easy because I've got all these trees and shrubs all in the way. So I actually have to either walk or run to the bear branch. And if I'm recording, 
I, I want to try to get as much footage as I, as I can, so I try run to the bear branch. But yeah, the, the bald eagle that was passing the nest was most definitely the bald eagle that was on the bear branch like five minutes ago or so. Yeah. So I'll just record this nestling for just a little bit longer.